Hey everyone, this is Max from CG Max 7 and I'm here to make a tutorial on how to do modeling in 3ds Max 2017. Now we're going to create the speaker from the scratch and once we complete the speaker, we're going to jump into Keyshot and do some rendering process like creating a turntable. Now in this tutorial, you will learn how to keep the mesh in quad and how to do the proper basic modeling for the product modeling basis. And once we complete that, we're going to obviously going to learn about the key shot. And without even waiting, let's get started with the modeling stage. Lights out, lying in your arms, and these feelings start to change. When we start the modeling, we always look for the basic primitive shape of the model. So in this scenario, I'm creating a speaker, so the basic primitive shape is going to be the box. So I'm just using my move tool to make sure it's on the center of the grid. And going into my subdivisions, adding some segments into it, maybe by three by three by three. So always you want to make sure that you do some pre-planning for your model. So in this scenario, I'm just doing a pre-planning for this model. Once I confirm it, then I'm going to convert to editable poly and use my vertices and bring them into the corner of the edge. It's just for I'm going to do some turbo smoothing and make sure my uh, corner of the edges is going to be uh, hold over there. So it gives me the nice crisp bevel edges. And later on you're going to see it. So I'm going to use my swift loop by holding on shift and by that I get a center point over there and that center point is going to be I'm going to use some chamfer to convert into four and make sure everything stays in quad that means four sided faces so I'm using my cut tool to make sure everything stays in four sided Uh, polygon tool and using geopoly to make sure everything comes into the round once I confirm this then I'm going to detach this part just to make this inner part of the speaker and the rest is going to be the body I'm gonna select my border and just convert this shape into a more like a spline So I'm going to use smooth in this scenario, so that's good. I'm gonna select that point and make sure the pivot is onto the center and that ring just to bring it out a little bit outside and make sure it's on the enable and viewport, giving some thickness into it. And again for the box I'm going to make sure the pivot is center. And again selecting the speaker, just creating another shape line. Now in this scenario I can do the duplicate of the uh, line which I just recently created but you always have some garbage value which you don't want it so that's why I'm just creating this line. So obviously both lines are overlapping to each other so I'm just going to select one and just scale them just a little bit inside giving just a little bit gap also want to mention that I'm side by side watching my reference as well applying some colors into it now in this scenario you just want to pay attention of it because I'm going to add some specularity and tighten some glossiness and giving some bluish color so in this way when I'm going to add the smoothness you will see some nice uh, specularity into the corner of the edges and that's why we applied this material so as you can see I'm applying the turbo smooth over here and you can see those nice bluish line to the corners so that material is more like a test material that you can apply on the where you're going to do some hard surface modeling and apply some material onto it and you can see the nice crisp edges bringing out some 
edge a little bit down i'm not going to exactly make the same speaker which i'm looking at the material you always want to go for the artistic choice which is necessary i guess once i confirm this for the speaker um might do inset in it just a little bit adding one more inset and bring it inside and one more just do a little bit inset more so I think uh, that's the main uh, rounded area which is I don't know what exactly it's called but that's that's how you make that part so again sticking with the quad make sure I'm using the cut tool and stays everything gets quad nice and clean once I got this then I'm going to apply some turbo smooth and ISO and display now ISO line display shows you the less mesh I'm gonna add some swift loop so these are called the supporting loops or the uh, holding edges but this will hold up the edge at the corner and gives me the nice sharp edge over there which I'm looking for it so I'm going to use nerve subdivisions it's the similar like uh, turbo smooth but it doesn't add any modifier into it looks fine to me little bit inside giving some shapes and obviously we can go further applying turbo smooth and there you go a nice clean speaker applying the one material looks fine <laughs> 